Okay, so in my last video, I talked about uh, outliers and in influential observations and uh, their impact on OLS estimators. And we saw that uh, OLS is very sensitive about uh, these outliers or influential observations and those influential observations can have a huge impact on our slope coefficients and uh, their statistical significance. So rather than trying to determine which observations are having a huge impact on OLS estimator, it will be much better if we have another estimator which is less sensitive to influential observations or outliers. And one such method is called least absolute deviation method. And remember in OLS, what we were trying to do was we were trying to minimize the sum of square residuals i was from 1 to n so what this least absolute deviation method does instead of minimizing the square of these residuals it minimizes the absolute value of these residuals so that's the main difference between lat and uh, ols this method is more resilient to outliers and there are a bunch of uh, drawbacks of this method as well the first one is it needs a lot of computations and the second is the statistical inferences justify only as n gets larger right so next i'm going to show you an example and we're going to compare least absolute deviation with outliers and without outliers and we're going to see that how sensitive this estimator is in the presence or absence of these outliers in the previous video we saw that ols was very sensitive to the inclusion or exclusion of uh, these outliers. So least absolute deviation, instead of minimizing the square of residuals, it uh, minimizes the absolute value of residuals. It's more resilient to outliers, but it is computationally extensive and its statistical inferences are justified only when the number of observations get larger. So let me show you an example. Okay, so I'm going to use the same data set that I used earlier and I'm going to regress R&D expenditures on sales and profit margin. To apply this uh, least absolute deviation method, we need this uh, library one track. Okay, so let's uh, regress this model with outliers and then subset to exclude any outlier. And we know that there was one outlier, so I'm going to exclude it. And now let's look at the results. So as we can see, the coefficient values for sales variable are not much different. And uh, the statistical significance is also not very different across uh, these two models, one with the outlier and the other without the outlier. Similarly, this profit margin variable, its coefficient value and statistical significance is not much different across uh, these two sets of observations. So we can conclude that LAD or least absolute deviation method, it is a little bit more resilient to outliers as compared with the OLS. So this least absolute deviation method, it is a special case of quantile regression, which I'm gonna show you in the next uh, video. So this is how you apply least absolute deviation method to take care of outliers in your data set. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.